Hi, I'm Joanna Smith, and today we're looking at how to keep your employees connected and engaged, even when they can't be in the office. Coworkers and teams are able to stay connected while working remotely thanks to tools like collaborative documents, video meetings, and team chat rooms. On a larger scale, enabling employees to feel connected across teams and to the company as a whole can be a challenge. One tactic that's especially effective here is to host a virtual all hands. An all hands meeting is unique in its ability to bring an organization together while ensuring that everyone receives the same information. In fact, a recent study by Igloo Software found that 75% of remote workers believe they miss out on important information. This can cause operational issues and result in a disengaged workforce. But the logistics of running an all-hands meeting remotely may seem daunting. Fortunately, you can use Google Meet to host a virtual all-hands for up to 100,000 employees, whether they're working from their home, the office, on the factory floor, or out in the field. Google Meet is our enterprise-grade video conferencing solution that takes advantage of Google Cloud's secure by design infrastructure and features a number of proactive counter abuse protections to help protect your data and safeguard your privacy. With Google Meet, your video meetings are secure, easy to join, and offer helpful features like adaptive layouts so that you can focus on what matters most. Best of all, with Google Workspace, you get so much more than meetings. You can schedule and join meetings directly from Gmail or Google Calendar, easily present your screen or collaborate on a document during the meeting, and securely record a meeting and have it saved to Google Drive to be shared later. These same features that make Google Meet so effective as a video conferencing solution are what make it simple and straightforward to host a virtual all-hands meeting. So let's take a look at how that might come together. First, we'll need to create the calendar event for our all-hands. We'll select the time, and then we can fill out the initial information, including the event title and any details we need in the description. Then we need to add Google Meet video conferencing, which is as simple as a click. Our All Hands is also going to offer a live stream, so to enable that, we'll want to switch to the event details page. The option to add a live stream is nested under the Google Meet additional details view, and all it takes is a single click. Now we can invite our co-presenters and attendees, and just like that, our virtual All Hands has been scheduled. A single Google Meet video conference supports up to 250 participants, while a live stream supports up to 100,000 viewers. Depending on the size and nature of your all hands, you may want to create two separate events. One that contains the Google Meet video conference, to which you only invite presenters, and then a second event for the view-only live stream, where you can invite attendees. Creating a view-only event is a simple edit on the initial event. From the Event Details dialog, click the three-dot menu button and select Create View Only Event. You can then invite your attendees and even modify the event description if there is separate information to share for the audience. On the day of the event, we'll want to be sure that everyone can join, whether they are using shared video conferencing devices, the Google Meet mobile app, or watching the View Only livestream from any modern browser. As the event organizer, we'll want to join early so that we can turn on each of these features. The live stream doesn't begin automatically and needs to be started. This allows organizers to get set up and test their presentations without an accidental audience. When everyone is ready, we'll click Start Streaming. We'll know the live stream is active based on the Live tag in the corner of the screen. If we want to make this virtual all hands available after the event, we can choose to record the meeting. To begin recording, select the three dots in the bottom corner to open a menu of additional options. There, we can click Record Meeting, and another red tag has appeared in the upper corner to indicate that this meeting is being recorded. The recording will be emailed to the organizer after the live stream ends and saved securely to Google Drive, where it can later be distributed for on-demand viewing. To stop recording or streaming, simply return to the Options menu. Also, from this menu, we can turn on Live Captions to make the meeting more inclusive. Live captions in Google Meet are powered by Google speech recognition technology, not typed by a human which helps ensure no one outside your organization is viewing private content. During the all hands, each presenter can easily participate, even if they aren't in the same place. When it's our turn to present, we're given the option to share our entire screen, a specific window, or even a single Chrome tab, which makes it easy to play high quality videos with audio. And when we're done, we simply stop presenting. With these options, Meet makes it easy to have control of the content you'd like to share. With distributed teams, it's especially important to have a mechanism in place for getting feedback. After the all hands ends, we'll use Google Forms to quickly create a simple survey. We can customize the format, randomize the questions, and designate certain questions as required, so employees can share their thoughts on the event and content. 
Because of the deep integrations built into Google Workspace, the survey responses automatically populate into a Google Sheet, where we can view the raw responses or use the Explore feature to get suggestions on pivot tables or data visualizations. The feedback form, along with the recording, presented slides, and follow-up materials can be shared across the company using an internal portal created with Google Sites. This internal site provides a quick and easy way to keep everyone on the same page and serves as an on-demand reference for their content. A site like this is especially helpful when onboarding new employees, and it's easy to update, so you can keep adding additional content as it becomes available. And that is how you can use Google Workspace and Google Meet to host a virtual all hands to keep your employees connected and engaged. To learn more about Google Workspace, visit workspace.google.com.